Can their bonding go up now? Let's see. This probably has some I've juicy been details. Forever. Ryu Aoki. What's up, Tsurumi? Governor of Tokyo. Age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. It says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then, he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. <clears throat> he left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. What you been up to, Looks man? like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly. But now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga said. Eyes storm. <laughs> a lot of stuff that make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. <gasps> you think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Well, he was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> Is the governor really the young master? If so, how did he do it? One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. You can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it comes uh, apart real quick. Until we're tired. We're well, off today. Of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing <laughs> register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background so he could be governor. The public would 
Never accept the politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamrocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on. Hold the hell on. I was right out way walking. Does he need a wheelchair? Not need a wheelchair no more? What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan, that's true. He too stuck, Sometimes man. Sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? The club. Yeah. Yo, oh, right. I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah. Horinouchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamroch is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The I army alliance is, is going coming. to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. It's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep, remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice, thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean... Your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but you sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah, whatever. The room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Let me level up their bonds. Oh, I want to see the. I want to see the room. I should go see how the town's dealing with the threat of the Omi Alliance invasion. Which way we got? A decent amount. Yeah. Hey, uh, Hamako-san? What's wrong? 
Some Yakuza came by looking for you. What? A guy named Tatsuka from the Syria clan. Tatsuka, huh? How did he look? He had a whole bunch of his boys with him. I think they're going bar to bar asking about you. I steer clear of, of my place for a bit. Gotta go. Wait, Hamako-san. Hey. What'd she say? Tatsuka is apparently out searching for us, so she says we should stay away from her shop. Hmm? But I thought Tatsuka was... Okay. Yeah, I thought the Syria clan came down hard on him for the whole retirement home scam. Which means we should probably go see for ourselves, even though she literally just told us to stay away. <laughs> You're welcome to stay behind if you hey. want. You ass, I'm going too. Here. Iron pipe. This is a cheap store. Needed to find this store way long ago. Uh, I think we'll hit this. Where are we go? Let's just go way over here. I never found water for the dude. Damn, look at all these quests. There's so many. Uh, we'll hit this one on the way. That face is always so creepy. I wonder why. Huh. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. No way. No, really, I think I have. Yeah, we definitely know someone who looks like this. Oh, it's a Dachi san Oh. Well, give me a break. I'm a little more put together than that. Actually, don't you think it looks a little too divine to be a Dachi san Now that you mention it, yeah. Sorry, a Dachi san Guess it's not you at all. I'm about to lose it with you two. Oh, still locked. Fuck. Oh. What's with the crowd? Can, disturb you during your recovery, honey Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Amazon, have you had any further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Anzai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, honey Amazon? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. <laughs> We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season is a fool's errand. What are your thoughts on that? There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Famous baseball players are not. These reporters are ruthless. Hey, hey please, no pushing. Ah! Hey, hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Oh, nice. Hanayama-san, we still have some questions. Hey, aren't you gonna apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't! Assholes! This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sheesh. You guys are hopeless. Thank you. Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg? That because of your friend Anzai? <laughs> Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. 
was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Star's shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not gonna change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Unless they got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would have won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. But Anzai swears he did it on his own. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai's basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. Uh, in disguise? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Fair thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like I'm gonna say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him for you. Ah, thanks, Kasuga-san. Ah, here, let me give you this. Photo of Anza. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. Oh, Kazuka saw. Thank you so much for the last time. <laughs> no worries. Looks like you two really hit it off. Happy for you. Yes. On that note, I had something I wanted to discuss with you, Kazuka san. I know I might be a bit early, but I was thinking of asking Sharika out on a date. You know any good places for a date? Having no experience, I'm not really sure where to take her. Might be too early to say, but he's acting a hell of a lot more positive than he used to, so that's good at least. Mm. A first date, huh? Okay. The hotel, the house, the theater. Uh, I don't think he has a house or a hotel. Not the theater. Yeah. Take her to the movies. You guys can talk about it afterwards. See what you both thought. I see. Yeah. That'll definitely keep the conversation going. Thank you, Kasuga. So. Oh yeah. And since it's a date, you guys should go see one of those romantic flicks. Romantic. Okay. I understand. I'll go ask her out right away. Is she wearing an eye patch? What the fuck? Shirakawa song. Oh, your face. Are you alright? Oh, Kuroi. I'm fine. I just uh, bumped into something, that's all. Pork suit coming right up. Oh, well, I. Wait. No, yes. Thank you. But actually, I have something I want to ask you. Oh, what is it? Um, would you like to go to the movies with me? What? Is that a no? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just surprised. It's definitely not a no. You changed, Kurai son. You're totally different from when I first met you. You think Hi. so? Yes. I can learn a thing or two from you. I'll be looking forward to the movie. Damn, that went well. <laughs> Shirakawa san said yes. We're meeting at Seagull Cinema around noon. Right. I was thinking of getting her a gift for our date, but I wanted to ask for your advice again. No. Nah, you don't need me anymore, man. Huh? You know her better than I do at this point. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Just keep doing what you're doing. Something's wrong. I think someone hit her. 
Uh, I guess I do know her a little better now. Yeah, okay. I'm meeting at Seagull Cinema. Hey, we need to go here. He wanted to check my Pokedex. My Suji Dex. Greetings, friend. I see you've been given that Sujimon app uh, something. Here's something to tide you over. Yes, it's just a morsel. I'm aware, but you'll have to make do for now. Fire gods and <laughs> Now there are so many Sujimon left to go. Vertible hordes of them, so you'll dang it. It keeps it keeps auto going. I'm too slow. Um I think someone still has an accessory slot open. Well maybe not now, because the non bond's gone, but and I'm gonna take all my shit. No, he left it on. Kimchi. After all this time, she still can't cross. Uh, oh, I know I can do it somehow. Ma'am, are you still having trouble? Hmm? Oh, you're that young fella. Here's my dilemma. I can almost make it, but. Then the light starts flashing, and I get cold feet. <sighs> Back in my heyday, I was the star of the track team. Quickfoot Ume, that's what they called me. <laughs> Wait, decades ago was now that? Now I'm just an old fossil who can't even cross the street. Oh, if only these legs still worked. Now I get where she's coming from. In her heart, she's still a star athlete. I bet this kimchi could give her the kick she needs. Maybe I should offer her some right before the signal changes. Granny, try putting a little of this in your mouth before the signal changes. Oh, now what is this? That's not kimchi, is it? It is. And I know it may sound bonkers, but this stuff will light a fire under your ass, no doubt. Ugh. Truthfully, I've got half a mind to shoo you away for suggesting I engage in such nonsense. But I've seen what a kind person you are. You're honest to a fault, and I do know you mean well. I'll trust you, young man. Awesome. Finally crossed the street. That was sick, Granny. <laughs> I'm either crying from joy or how spicy that was. Either way, I could finally relive my glory days. And it's all thanks to you and that kimchi. But goodness, that was fiery stuff. Nearly burned me to ashes mid-run. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. I'd say I'm more than just all right. 
I'd feel light and limber like never before. Where might I find more of this miraculous kimchi? Oh, uh, an older guy on Sakura Alley sells it. He might still be around. Is that right? I ought to spread word around the neighborhood association. Uh, make sure you warn everybody. I will certainly try. In any case, see you around. Good job, Granny. Glad it all worked out. I'm thinking that kimchi seller might want to know about what happened. Uh... Is this right here? Yeah, we head back. with the mob all of a sudden. One order of Miracle Kimchi, please. Me too. Me three. Me four. Whoa, what the crap? He's swamped with customers now. Oh, you're the young man from last time. As you can see, my business took off out of nowhere. I'm raking it in right now. Yeah? Good to hear, man. But I'm puzzled as to how my kimchi suddenly got so popular. People keep asking whether it helps with running or romance. Would you know anything about that? Uh, good question. The important thing is, business is looking good. And I know people like the flavor, so I'm sure they'll be back for more. I sure hope you're right. Can I get some kimchi, please? Oops. <laughs> I guess I'll get out of your way. Don't want to hold up the line. Well, I encourage you to stop by again. I'll sell you kimchi anytime. Ooh, you're the gentleman from earlier. Hey there, lady from the crosswalk. Remember that kimchi you gave me? I went ahead and splurged on a huge batch. He gave me some extra as a bonus for buying so much. So would you care to join me? Ooh, sounds good. No mind if I... <laughs> mm -hmm. It burns! <laughs> <laughs> Umeko has applied for Ichiban Confections. Nice. Can I... Can I do more with that? Let's not. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, there it is. I think we get it. I don't know though. These, this girl needs some defense too. At the same time, <laughs> actually, I think I'm gonna go with the defense. What else are you wearing? Try that. And then... My tendons. Those are pretty good. Um... I can buy more shoes for that guy too.
aqui. Obrigado. All right, I think that's everything around here. Oh, right here, just do this too. Isn't this where people have been seeing that masked killer? Hmm? Oh yeah, that sign! It's the same one from the video, right? <gasps> wow, you're right! No way! This place is iconic! We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go! Did she say iconic? I'd get it if this place was in a movie or TV show or something, but not for some murderer. Tell me about it. Michan's place has gotten reservations canceled because of it. Seriously? This rumor's becoming a real problem. All this talk about a masked killer sounds crazy. Are they for real? Maybe that guy could fill me in. Masked murderer. Guess some kind of homicidal maniac is running around here. Might be worth asking about. What's up? Hey, you got a sec? Mm -hmm. hmm. Something I can help you with? We're still getting ready to open. You know anything about a masked killer? Heard some people talking earlier got curious. Is that just a rumor or is it for real? Who knows? The rumors are spreading like wildfire, but it's not like I've seen the guy for myself. Someone took a picture and it put it on the internet, so of course now it's blown up to being a huge pain. We've got more people coming by in hopes of snatching a picture with a murderer than we do actual customers. It's bonkers. That's it? So the rumor just started spreading on its own? That's the internet for you. Still though. Mm -hmm. What is it? The thing is, I looked at the picture for myself and it's definitely a shady dude and it's definitely in this part of town. Shady how? Uh. Well, a big guy with a blood splattered hockey mask holding what looked like an axe standing over in Fukuto Kucho. Jason's? Jason's in Japan? Here as hell sounds like a murderer to me. <laughs> That's certainly how it looks. That said, I don't have the time to go snooping around for someone who may or may not exist. And even if I did find him, I'm sure he just murdered me. Wow. Must be hard on everyone. Having yeah, having a rumor like that going around. Yeah, talk about a hassle, but say. Now that I get a good look at you, I'm willing to bet you're pretty tough. And since you're out here goofing off midday, I imagine you've got some time on your hands, right? Wait a damn minute. Sorry, I didn't mean nothing by it. Just, I just wanted to ask you something. You want me to look into the murderer? Uh. How'd you know? Think you could help out? No one's actually turned up dead or anything, but it's creepy and I don't want to lose any more customers. I'll be sh sure to reward you for your efforts. How about it? Will you help me? <sighs> I'm a mass killer in the shopping district. It's definitely weird. But I'm curious about it myself, so I'll look into it. <laughs> really? That's great. I'm the owner of this place, by the way. The name's Saito. And you are? Yeah. I'm Kasuga. Well, Kasuga son. Sorry to throw this at you, but I could really use the help. The murderer is said to appear in Fugito Kucho at night. You might be able to get to the bottom of this if you got there after got it. dark. At night, huh? Got it. I'll let you know if I find anything. Alrighty. Eh, fuck it. This guy's like super strong. Like my level. Okay, they're up there, but not my level. Yeah. 
Inside. Hmm? Oh. There's Megumi working hard as always. Please make a donation. My little brother is sick and needs money for a surgery. Doesn't look like anybody can hear her. No surprise considering all this traffic. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Kuska's son, I've been receiving more donations than ever, but I'm still a long way from I my see. goal. Yeah, in that case, you just need to let your voice be heard. I was watching you earlier and it looks like to me like you're not getting loud enough. Um, so how do I sure do thing. that? Here, let me show you. Huh? The key is to get everyone to stop in their tracks. Now, how the hell am I gonna do that? Everybody, listen up real quick. What's going on? What happened? See? That got their attention. You do it just like that, okay? You're up. Give it all you got. Um, okay. Everyone, please listen to what I have to say. My little brother is sick and needs money, so if you could, please consider donating. <laughs> hey, there you go. Donation? Maybe I should do something good for once. That girl's way younger than me. Look, but look at her go. I should donate too. Sure, I'll donate. Huh? Wait, what the hell's going on here? Oh, look at all this. Thank you very much, everyone. I didn't expect to receive this much. Thank you, Katsuka. -san. Hey, all I did was give you a little advice. You're gonna be okay on your own. Hi. Yep. <laughs> Good to hear. Well, keep it up for your brother. Got up in time. Do something. 
Broke. And you gotta be shitting me. Who does that girl think she is with her stupid little pink hat? She's messing up our mm -hmm. whole scam. A girl with the pink hat. Is she talking about Megumi? All good. She just got lucky this time. Don't worry about it. Uh, we could have done for Yakiniku. If not for her. Now we're stuck with fast fucking food. I'm so pissed. Feel how light the donation box is. Not like you're the only one suffering. I got my motorcycle to worry about. <laughs> Welcome back. Seems like the rumor about those two is true. Man, we gotta do something about that kid. Okay, fine. We see her at the spot again. We'll crush the little shit. Yo. Yo, hold up a sec, guys, huh? The hell do you want, Pops? Wait, you were with the kid. Collecting donations only to spend it all on yourselves? How low can you get? You're eavesdropping on us? Those donations are more than just money. A lot more. That shit is people's hope. Their desire to be bigger than themselves by helping someone else. First, you trample all over everyone's goodwill, and now you're talking about crushing a little girl? Not on my fucking watch. Their goodwill. Dude, so cringy. Yeah. Hey, how about we teach Gramps here a lesson? I'll make getting rid of the brat that much easier. <laughs> yeah, and maybe we can squeeze a donation from him while we're at it. I'd love to see you try. Yeah. Real tough guy we got here. Die. What happened? Just a bunch of side quests. I haven't, I haven't uh, seen what's going on with the Omi Alliance yet, but they're here. Okay, okay, we've learned our lesson. We'll leave the kid alone. Or actually, the serial clan is looking for me. Right now. Yo! You jerks. Do you even know why she's collecting donations? Huh? No, no idea. I'm sure you guys saw how hard she was working back there. Listen up. So it was for our little brother, so we're focused on money, we didn't even bother listening to her. That girl barely knows which way is up, but she's out there doing her best just so she can help her hey. brother. Putting that in perspective, what you guys were doing sounds pretty shitty, doesn't it? On top of that, she even said she looked up to you for for trying to help kids in need. What? I won't say anything about you two to Megumi, but she's real. Yeah, she's already going through a lot with her brother. Last thing she needs is anything that'll bring her down. Man, I feel like a real ass. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's head over. We're not gonna be doing these side quests forever. This so many. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of close to this one though. Yeah, screw it. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. <laughs> Trail. We got here's path. <laughs> Let's 
Time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shio chan <clears throat> Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? Fifty shades of play. Don't you think you're past your prime? Look, nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just... Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> My advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? <laughs> 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 but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? You could break a hip in those heels. No, I take pride in what I do. <laughs> I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. Vinny, are you a client? I'm asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? Vinny's number one client. <laughs> What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? <laughs> All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? <laughs> I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. <laughs> oh, and. Frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. What? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. Yeesh. You all right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. I want to do more of the movie stuff. I want to play more sheep minigame. This is not the place. I don't know where it was.
<sighs> well, that was rather tame. I couldn't feel a scratch, and somehow that scares me. <laughs> the fault lies completely with us, sir. Please accept the session in on, on the house. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just wasn't enough for him. Don't worry. Not even the toughest mistress in town can make him feel anything again. No one can. No one can. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, that guy, is some kind of celebrity or something. Well, you could say he's in our world. We've come to call him Mr. Masochist. Hmm? Mr. Masochist. That's right. He roams the streets looking for agony in a base in a basically abusement. Basement of the lowest caliber, but lately he's been in a funk, saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. What happened to the poor guy? And now he's got every kink club in town bending over backwards trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? <laughs> well, think about it. Wouldn't you want to be known as the only establishment who can break the unbreakable? That kind of buzz would be priceless. Oh. Ah, that's kind of smart, actually. Everyone in the business is going after him. Rinky kink, fetch a fetish, bloody gauntlet, the dom dome. But he just walks out sulking. That man was stiff as a board, but not in the way he needed to be. I guess that's one way to put it. And it's his skin. Mm -hmm. Say what? His skin was concrete hard. No matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for that matter, he wouldn't even flinch. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Don't be so down on yourself. Why don't we do some training so next time he comes around you can make him feel alive again? Hi. Yeah, you're right. Well, time to work on our customer service, so to speak. Talk to you later. Yeah, so we got a Mr. Maskus running around town. Why does this not surprise me? Eh? You dare talk back to me, pig? Squee, forgive me, mistress. I uh, mean, oink, oink. <laughs> I, uh, I, just, I don't know. That, is, those, that shit don't turn me on. That shit turns me off, actually. It does the opposite. <laughs> Saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. Uh, help you with what? Uh, to tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. Taken? Don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Here, see for yourself. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Mm. Right. Well, I'll catch you cold. See ya. Wait, please! Don't you see? <laughs> I can't get on a train like this. Yo, back off! You're getting bubbles everywhere. How'd you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today I was enjoying my time at a soapland, getting nice and sudsy. This new girl Mika-chan is just so cute. Uh huh. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered? Your grandma's passed out, he tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? Uh, no way. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. Yep. So, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so 
Here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? That's right. There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. What if something happens to my grandma while you're out shopping? And if you don't pick out something in my size, or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time! You're seriously thinking about <laughs> style right now? Look, if you're that worried about it, just go to the store yourself. Believe me, I would. But it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? Okay. One puddle, one little splish of water. These bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Well, it's not like you couldn't get arrested right now. Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please. Uh, there's a clothing store in the shopping district. Do I help the guy out? All right. I'll take you. You just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes, please. Oh, uh, my name's Awano, by the way. I'm Kasuga. Well, let's get you dressed before you get arrested. Okay. Gotta move carefully and avoid water at all costs. Phew, glad we got here without you uh, hanging out. Thanks a million, Kasuga, so I'll be okay. right back. Sure, go ahead. I'm coming, Grandma. Hmm? Wait, are they really gonna let him shop like that? Huh? Yo, you pervert, get out of here. Wait, please, I just need to buy some clothes. Here we go. Kasuga son, tell her it's all a misunderstanding. <laughs> They're gonna lock me up at this rate. And when. Just when we got to the store. This shit doesn't end, does it? Hey. Look, but about my friend here. He's on his way out of a soap line. He's just a pervert. <laughs> uh, it's a long story. There's a reason this dude's naked. I like that he never fixed his hair. I was just stuck with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Is there? Yeah. His grandma just passed out. He was in the bath when he got the message and couldn't ignore, so he ran out without thinking. His grandma yeah. passed out. Yeah, do him a favor and sell him some clothes, please. He's already made enough of a scene. I'm just trying to help this fool get to the hospital to see his grandma. Okay, I understand. That case right this way. Man, say something ridiculous with a serious face and people just buy just about anything. That's good, son. I was able to get some clothes. Oh, that's hmm? good. But now that I think about it, how'd you pay for them? Weren't you naked? <laughs> the clerk saw me crying while I was picking out clothes and let me put it on a tab. A tab at a clothing so store? I'm forever in your debt. And with that, I'm off to see my grandma. Okay. Yeah, get going. <laughs> Hope his grandma's okay.
All right, there's one more left in this corner. Wow, that was very weak. Wow, that weakening does a whole lot. Attack debuff to go away. Is this the, the can thing? Oh, this is how it works. of demise what the heck happened to him all right just ignore what i see let's help the guy help me someone anyone hey you all right hold still i'll get you out right now <sighs> thought i was gonna die man you really saved my hide i owe you one what were you doing in there though how does anyone even end up like that? Nothing shady, I can tell you that. I'm just a humble vagabond. Uh, people call me Shige-san. And that there's my treasure trove. What, this dumping ground? Yeah. I don't want to say it too loud, but this mountain of trash here is a gold mine. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, sometimes I get stuck trying to dig out the good stuff. You really dig through this crap? Bet you there's not even fool's gold in there. Sure. Maybe it seems like junk on the surface. But dig deeper, and you'll come up on the good stuff. Take this doohickey, for instance. Whoa. 
Nice watch. I would hope so. It's worth a million yen. You serious? Why would somebody throw that away? What even is this place? Seems to me deeper. where the Yakuza get rid of whatever they need, well, disposed of. So I poke around here long enough, I figure I'll end up with a small fortune. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Aren't you being kind of reckless? If you get caught, it's over for you. Oh, ain't nobody caught on yet. Besides, they're throwing away stuff they don't even want. How could they complain? Try saying that to their face. Come on. Aren't you even the least bit interested? You never know. You might find something right for you. Yeah, I don't think so. You sure? Nobody even wants this stuff. So no point in passing it all up. Anyway, why don't I give you what I found today as thanks for bailing me out? Oh, I should probably get your name first, shouldn't I? It's Kasuga. Okay then, Kasuga-san. Today, I'm bringing in the mother load. Is he gonna be all right? I better come back and check up on him at some point. Kazuka is good? What do you mean? Good as in what? Good person? Oh, I made him a good person. <laughs> my stats right now with him passion level four style three kindness level three see i'm I leveled up my kindness this goes pretty high talk to a dutchy ball a dutchy at survive bar So I don't know where survive bar is. It's up here somewhere. It's right here. Can I just go there and do the talking thing? To unlock their bonding. I knew I had to use the bar, but I thought it was a story. Oh, the factory's here. I wanted to come here. Sick. Traffic, knockout slap like bandages, red hot blade. It's pretty cool, but it's not that big of an upgrade. Um, yellow one, spiky hammer. That's pretty strong. Just a few things. Damn. I can't make anything get worth. Oh, that's a lot.
Your facility rank is not high enough. Oh. Ready when you are. Two million for one piece of armor. Yeah. Nope. Oh, he's back already. Hey. Still at it, huh? Yes, sir. I'm making easy money. Why on earth would I stop? That, and I never actually seen Yakuza here aside from the first time. They ain't coming back. All right. I promised I'd give you something as things. I hauled in some nice finds, so pick whatever you like. Shiny black object, dull metal object, creepy object. Let's go shiny black object. Okay. Then can I have this? Yeah, take it. Ooh. Well, what about all the other weird shit that turns up? This is Yakuza dumpling ground, so you might have just been lucky up until now. <sighs> You really that spooked? I think you might be overthinking it anyway. Would you mind keeping quiet about this place? Can't afford to lose my piece of the pie. You don't have to worry Jack. about me. That's what I like to hear. Well, I'm off for today. Yeah. Later, Cusco's goes on. Yep. Is it good? It's good. It is tiny. Mm. Oh, hi there, Katsuka son. After yeah. all the belly king, you came back. I just came to see how things were. So, you find anything good today? I'm fishing something out right now. Let's see. Oh, how would you look at this? Shirt's got a nice design, but just the tip of the trash Go. bird. Look at yourself stuck head first like last time. Pshaw. I won't make the same mistake twice. Right. Yep. Hmm. <gasps> Holy shit, what is it? Whoa. Oh shit, it's drenched in blood. Uh it's still wet and sticky and it's all full of holes. Hey, are you shooting me right now? I uh shouldn't we report this to please? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Uh I don't even have Hold on! Dude, calm down. Stupid, you had to go and make more work. Yakuza, who use their fucking heads, don't just murk a guy and toss their fucking clothes in the dump. Sorry about that, Anarchy. I figured I could get away with the chucking some random shirt. You figured? What if that leads right back to you, idiot? I know, I'm a dumbass. A real piece of shit, really. Whatever. You threw it out around here. Go find Wait. it, quick. Okay. Should be right out there on the pile. Of the fuck? Ooh. Hey, you, what do you think you're doing? Huh? I was just, um, shit, for fuck's sake. All of the shit in the heap, and you just had to find that? Did I, did I do something wrong? Put it to you this way, your garbage digging ass just turned up an incriminating evidence, so I can't let you walk out alive. Chalk it up, stroke of bad luck, but hey, no hard feelings, my condolences, and all that shit. <laughs> So you killed whoever was wearing this shirt and this all that's left? <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you that. But what's good it gonna do to tell a dead man? I'll be wasting my breath. Damn. Great, now I gotta fight this guy. Is it really a dinky sword or is it real? Is it a more realistic sword? <laughs> It's not Cloud Sword. It's, it's realistic. Here we go. 
Never thought I'd dig up something so awful and run afoul of the Yakuza. Mm. Uh, guess there's no shortcuts to money and success, are there? I always hated the idea of money ruling the world. So I chose to walk the path of the dumpster diver. <sighs> but maybe it's time I suck it up and get an actual job, huh? That might be a good idea. Now, I would have been killed were it not for you. So here, I hope you get some use out of this. Intimidation manual. Anyway, I'm off to find some work. Maybe a, a shower and some better clothes while I'm at it. Good. Try and take care of the ladder stuff first. You know, well, maybe I ought to work a garbage truck. Picking up one shiny bundle of joy after another. You stay healthy, Katsuka-san. <laughs> Sheesh. Guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. Hey, if one actually ended. Hey, I can, I can hire that guy now. Uh... I'm back behind me. Hey, it's my store. We haven't been here in a while. <laughs> This story actually is useless now. Not one thing in here worth. <laughs> Still my favorite store. Yo, if it isn't Awano. Oh, Kasuga-san. Nice to see you again. So this is the Kasuga san that helped you. That's right. The very same. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. Mysterious blush. You sure? Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Take care of your grandma. Of course. Eesh, didn't know bathing could run in the family. Doop, 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 doop. Alright, I think we're done with this area now. So, we got a quest. I, I want to go back here. It's very fast to travel. I need to go to the bar and see if I can get up my bonding. I just bought you guys. I'm gonna do it again.
Uh, I hate these guys. They just take forever. Charismatic Intimidation. Do, do, do. Confections is over here. It's a game controller symbol. I didn't think it was gonna be a game controller symbol. I was wondering. Fine time, your first shareholder meeting. Shareholder, what now? In short, it's a meet and greet with the shareholders, those who have stock in our company. The shareholders are going to throw questions and opinions our way based on the results of this first gold term. So I'd like you to do your best to deal with them, Kasuka san. Deal with them? Well, it's actually more akin to quelling their anger. Our company still has a long way to go, so of course our shareholders are always angry in one way or another. But if they go home angry, they'll start forging or foregoing their shares, and the value of a share will drop considerably. If the share price goes, the value of this price goes with it. And if share price ranking goes to shit, it'll be hard to fulfill the promise of Nick. That's what yes. you're saying. Yes, that's exactly right. Seriously, you say it's a meet and greet, but it doesn't sound fun at all. Okay, so what do I got to do to make them less angry? Best way to do that is demonstrate the charm of our company and properly address the opinions of our shareholders. That should be enough to leave them satisfied. <laughs> if not, you can try apologizing from the bottom of your heart. Groveling might be a good way to go too. I've done it a few times and it's proved most effective. Sounds like you've had it rough, but wait, am I doing this by myself? I'm not sure if it's just, if it's if it's, yeah. If just me is gonna be enough to convince these guys. Oh no, you won't be by yourself. You'll be able to choose up to four employees to join you at the shareholder meeting. So please make sure you have a strong team lined up beforehand. Each employee has a different level of persuasive ability along with a specific field of expertise. So keep these in mind as you choose your team. Also, I should tell you, it's better to bring employees with higher positions and motivation to the shareholder meetings. They tend to be much more persuasive. Wow. I got you. Okay, then. I'll get a good team together and yes. dive right in. Great. Please do, because you got something. Alright. Manage employees. Boardroom can now be access. Shige has applied. Yep. Can recruit. Try recruit them all.
Prepare for a shareholder meeting. In preparation for shareholder meetings, you can check the current status of the company as well as edit which members will be participating in the shareholder meeting. Current approval rating. The approval rating of the shareholders will affect the financial reporting during a shareholder meeting. Net worth. The total of the company and borrowed funds. Manage employees. The number of current employees and their conditions. Current period sales to date. The accumulated sales to date of which current of the current period. Attending next meeting. Information on the shareholders scheduled to be in attendance in the next shareholder meeting. Check the edit. Employees that attend now. Oh, God. Um, to the cost. How do I do it? I think we need to, um, uh, we're in trouble here. <laughs> I buy another property. Oh. This is getting expensive. Say we invest in a restaurant or a bar. Let's go with the restaurant. Here you want someone with a good with all three stats. And this one needs a present and give it. That's not enough, actually. I need someone with more yellow. in sales uh, I don't know if my characters have the right stats to upgrade this right now especially not this All property lots are filled, no more properties can be purchased. Um, employees, surplus labor costs. 
I'm using 45,000 because I have too many employees. I have one employee not being used, that's why, I think. Who's the guy not being used right now? It's him. I don't want to lay him off. Fire the chicken. <laughs> it's fine. We can we can lose. We can lose forty five thousand. We're making two hundred grand. So. I think that's the best I can get. Current approval ratings not looking good. <laughs> money right now I need to I don't want to do a shareholder meeting <laughs> we're going in I guess I don't think there's really anything else I can do about it yeah consider the shareholders handle Skills cancel confirm. Shareholder meetings will see you taking a real time question and answer battle as you attempt to quote angry shareholders by answering their onslaught of questions. Within the time allotted, you will do all you can to unleash your employees' counter arguments against the shareholders' critique. Keep them happy and the most importantly, quiet. Should you fail to please the shareholders, the value of the company's stock will decrease, pushing you further away from the top spot in the share ranking. Should you succeed, however, the value of your stock will increase. Shareholder meetings are essential to your company's growth speed rate kick. And maybe even kiss some corporate ass. I don't think I ever want to be a business manager. <laughs> Prior to the questions and answers battle, a financial report will be released. Your standing with the shareholders will depend on how well you have done with both your ranking and the management index. The speed of command power recovery will depend on the condition of your participating employees. Good means fast recovery, bad means slower recovery. Okay, that's what the faces mean. Question and answer battle starts when the player selects a shareholder to ask their question. Fail to select someone quickly enough and the shareholder's irritation gauge will begin to fill. Once completely filled, they will start voicing their opinions whether you selected them or not. Players attack. Your employees will have a chance to attack by refuting the shareholder's opinions by using commander power command power and giving orders your employees will make remarks about your company your command power will fill up slowly over time you will only have a small window of time to refute the shareholders opinion and should you succeed you will deal damage to shareholders fail however your employees will take damage convincing the shareholder reduce the shareholder spirit to zero will leave them fully convinced the company is in good hands resulting in their defeats once an employee's spirit hits zero, they will no longer be able to speak up at the meeting and therefore unable to fight. Uh oh. Convince all the shareholders within a given time. Have an approval rating of 50% or more at the end of the battle. Fulfill either of the two conditions above to win. Lose all employees are unable to fight. Approval rating hits zero. Approval rating at the end of the battle is below 50. Okay. In addition to giving commands, you will also have a variety of skills at your disposal. Skills that range from level 1 to 3 and become accessible with the passing of time or through actions taking in battle. You can refuse refute a shareholder's critique through your employee's counter arguments. The number of counter arguments requires to refute a critique changes depending on their affinity. 
When you successfully refute a critique, a counter chance will occur. During this period, the shareholder's guard is lowered, allowing you to deal damage directly. Your share price and share price ranking are affected by the outcome of the sharehold meeting. The better the result, the more experience points your employees will gain. Kasuga's compensation increases at well. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of thought different games in one. All right. We'll start with the financial report. President Kasuga, if you would. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Normal and bad. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. What are you doing to motivate the employees? Do you think you'll last till next period? I don't know what I'm doing. If you have any questions, can't answer anyone. Oh, dang it. That concludes our periodic shareholders meeting. That was so fast. They hated me. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> oh god. It dropped. Our ranking dropped. Your results in the shareholder meeting have earned you to the next executive reward. I had no idea what was going on. It was all happening so fast. They took out one of my dudes, like, right out the gate. I didn't even have four guys to work with. Great work today, President Yakazuga. <sighs> I'm beat. Shareholder meetings are rough. You'll get used to it. The more our company grows, the bigger the number of shareholders and more extreme and claims. Today's meeting was just the beginning. Really? That said, I think you did great for your first time. I don't think so. Convincing all the shareholders that the meeting can have an overwhelming positive effect on their share value. Perhaps it's best to think the shareholder meeting as though it was a sporting event. Just as you would all you can prepare for a big game. It's best to run the business while always anticipating the upcoming shareholder <laughs> meetings. Right. Run a strong rate for nothing business, but one that won't anger the shareholders too much. Still, that sounds pretty tough. So I'll be looking for you yes. for your support. Of course, by all means, please keep up the good work, President Kazuga. All right, we need to actually make some profits here. Let's get down to business. That's you can finance your business through banks, money lenders, and cash advances. Interest and number of scheduled payments will differ depending on whom you borrow from, so it's best to consider your situation before you decide. Should you have the funds to make a lump sum payment, you can select a lender from the debts and pay off your loan in one fell swoop. Uh we're good. That's Open for business. We got a job to do. Oh. 
The second business is doing way better than the first one. Don't go too hard on an old lady. Here's how the business did. We did really we did well. profits. Great job, guys. Things are going up. Let's keep it up. Our ranking went up. Went up one. One rank. Cousin Kazuka, there's a commercial time slot available for this period. A well throughout commercial would provide a huge boost to our sales. Purchase the commercial time slot? I don't know what that means. Oh, I have to give him the funds. Like, I can't. You passed up a person in time slot. Okay. Cousin Kazuya, we we're contracted by an employment agency. There are some candidates looking for some work in our company. Uh, cancel. We don't need any more employees at this point. I'm really not happy with our company right now. So just checking the list and the current status of our employees. How do I make her happy? Oh, we have a rare dude. Hero Chun. He's pretty happy. How do I. She's pissed. She wants a bonus. Therapy program provides a few hours of full body massage. Invites employees at a party, to a party or a full cafe. Gifts a trip to a hot spring resort. Does it say why she's angry? How about care counseling? No. She'd be really happy with the vacation. All right, go on vacation. You. Uh. Yeah. And you. They're all happy now. Oh, Granny's not happy here. Such a thoughtful young man. All right, you guys need to do better. How could I? Ichiban Confections needs an upgrade for sure. Um. He's rare. 45. I like one million dollars for a contract. I think we do gotta let that guy go. Was the guy that's not being used? This guy? I like this guy though. But I just don't have use for him right at the moment. Ma. 
So you only want to upgrade them when they're close to their max level. So is she max level? Yeah, so I want to upgrade her. Her salary becomes higher. Alright. I'm losing money at this place now. Again, because my employees cost too much. <laughs> so I need to make it do better. broke okay it's gonna do better now we got a job to do Shareholder meeting, who's unhappy? Oh, new recruit. We got a job to do. I'm in the green. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's the best I got. Consider the shareholders handled. We'll start with the financial report. Quick. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Oh god. Oh, because I dismissed in a play. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. If you have any questions. Knocked him out. If you have any questions. I think we're winning this time. <laughs> no one's ready. 
I need to charge up my points. I have no points. Give him a lighthearted apology. Deals light damage to all shareholders. Sure. I need to be able to use. Alright. Seven, seven, seven. And I can use level one, that should kill him. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. Noise. Are skyrocketing. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the good shit. Our ranking went up. The results from the shareholder meeting have earned you to the next exclusive reward. This is where you make all the money in the game. <laughs> this is how you make money. I still can't buy a third property though, right? So we're just gonna approve on these. We're, we have a million bucks, so we'll just keep going. Make this place booming. I can buy. I can buy this now. That's gonna help a lot. It almost makes just as much money as the other place now. So this team here, I need, I need all three upgrades. We got a job to do. People are unhappy. I gotta like make sure. Uh, yeah, they're pretty pissed. I guess they're taking them on vacation. <laughs> huh, I didn't know you could pay for their training. That's a lot of fucking money. buy an upgrade. I need this one. And then next we can buy this. We got and then we just save up for a bit. Because <laughs> we're going to need to buy a property soon. Ichiban Confection has actually made more money this time. These are incredible you made half a mil in one session. How's it going? So thanks to your personal consulting 
service, the deposit amount needed to recruit employees has decreased significantly. I recommend taking this opportunity to check whether or not we need new employees. Period is left to fulfill promise to Nick. Three. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, we need to be top 100 soon. <laughs> I have to win the next shareholder holder meeting. And so I'm buying this and then this will make the company more money. Alright. We got a job to do. Proposal for an investment opportunity. Let's see what it's about. ROI. Looks like we got an investment proposal. I have a bad feeling about this crap. What do I do? Do we invest in this? It's very cheap. I don't know what they do for us though. Investment outlet general services. Please confirm the details of the contract. Nearby president and CEO Shuga Fukio. I don't know how these work. Let's just try it, I guess. The agreement has been signed. Listed the amount has been invested. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. Hoping investing helps. All right, it's the last business day. Let's just save up. We got a job to do. We're doing fine. Dude, we're gonna be doing this all day. <laughs> this is gonna be the whole stream. <laughs> Trying to beat this mini game. All right, we're back. Back to a million. Everyone's gonna. Kind of, everyone's locked out. We're not changing ranks though. The investment performance for general service from the other day just came in. Unfortunately, it didn't perform. Maybe the next one will yield better results. Lame. So it's a gamble, that's all it is. President Kazuka, our company mascot Alma, appeared on TV. We received 5 million yen for her performance. She must have a great agent. Sick. Discount on outsourcing HR consultant services has ended. The shareholders meeting is about to begin. That was a lot of money. We're rich. The company's back up there. Okay, we gotta win this. Are these guys happy? They're pretty motivated. Um, let's hurry up and make them super happy so we win these. These seem to be important. You care. Oh, he's still doing angry. Uh, Chicken. Such a thoughtful young man. Um, yeah, they're all happy now. Oh, let's get them training real quick. They all can do the level one training, I think. All right, how does this work? This is the max level for the current role. Uh, 
Wait, can only level 10 guys do it? What is this doing? Oh, it just gives them more experience. Oh, I don't care about that. They're getting experience working. They're getting worker experience. Instead of, instead of having me to give them schooling. I see how that is. All right, Charles, me, let's go. We got a bunch of women lined up. That's not good. We're gonna lose. Money building, and that lady in the middle is cranky as fuck. I have a lot of the money people, so the money person I should be able to defeat. The other ones I'm worried about. Let's go. The shareholders handled. We'll start with the financial report. President Casada, if you would. We'll kick things off with the financial report. That's a good start. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. I want to knock this lady out. Ah, uh, she's sitting back down. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Knock her ass out. Oh, uh, we gotta charge up a bit. Right, you. Seven points, seven points, seven points. No! Shit. She has so much armor. At 20 seconds. I mean, we're winning. No! Triangle, 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 triangle. Hurry up! All right, we got him. <laughs> Three seconds left. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. Everybody, thank you. The meeting was great. Things are skyrocketing. Whoa! Come on, bring us to top 100. I need to be top 100 in this period. Here. Or Nick's gonna be pissed. That's the good shit. Our ranking went up. Fuck. <laughs> we have sixteen ranks to go. Oh, I still got two. I still got two periods. Okay. It's still possible. Um, we're rich, so time to upgrade the shit out of these properties. Starting with Ichiban Confections. Um, what do we need to upgrade this again? Just heart. Need everything here. This is getting expensive. Need everything. Okay. 
Okay, well, we're gonna be making a million each day now, so that's good. Boys are happy. All right, let's go. We got Make a some... job to do. Yes! Omelette, you're doing it. Yes! <laughs> Omelette's a beast. 10 million in two days. Oh, uh, this is only gonna upgrade like one more time. Do oh, I have enough? I guess that's fully upgraded. I can't upgrade that no more. So this... I need to upgrade everything again. I don't got enough funds. I'm short. Okay. We got a job to do. Lose some profits, but that's okay. Eighteen. I do have a donor. Yeah, that's the best I'm gonna be able to do for a while. But we're making two two mil now a day, a even after upgrading my employees. The salaries increase, and we're still making two mil. It's pretty good. We need, to, we need to sell omelette nudes. And we'd make we'd make bank. Discount on employees. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. Training lecturer visiting. So they want me to train my employees. Instant level nine. He went straight to 10. So 
time. We got a job to do. They're all max level. Damn, the Ichiban confection is making dough, dude. These are incredible out there. We're going up. Let's keep it up. went up. The shareholders meeting is about to begin. We're up six mil. Uh, okay, make sure everyone's happy. They're all pretty happy except Granny here. Alright, shareholder time. Oh, they're high levels. Holy shit. Consider the shareholders channeled. I'm scared. We'll start with the financial report. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q&A. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Knock her out. That was easy. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Okay, this is going really well. They were all the green money thing, and that's all my guys are. Dude, we destroyed them. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. The meeting was great. Top 100, here we go. Dude, look at that. 15 million or 15,000 yen a share. You better start investing, dude, in Ichiban corporations, stocks. That's what I'm talking about. Our ranking went up. We're exactly 100. Is that enough? Does that count? I have one more pay period anyway. So it should be good. Cutscene? Maybe 100 was enough. <laughs> we did it! What? Huh? What's going on, Granny? Ijima Confections is finally in the top 100 of the share price ranking. <laughs> oh, what? You serious? That's great. Oh, boyfriend, you're amazing. Maybe we should go somewhere more private. Nah, that's okay. I'll settle for the compliments, I think. Nick. Hey, sounds like you got yourself into the top 100. Nicely done, thanks. Ichiban. Thanks. Nice. All right, thanks, Nick. But it's really only because of your investment. No, actually, plenty of people fail, even with all the investments. You really were cut out to be a manager after all. It seems I wasn't going wrong to believe so. I'm always willing to invest in the people who bring results. Allow me to give you an additional investment, Ichiban. How does another 50 million yen sound? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, <laughs> huh? Are you sure you want to give me that much? Absolutely. That amount will be chump change once you reach next level. But there's a condition this time as as well. Is that okay? Of course. That's what's the condition. Top fifty. I want you to get into the top fifty of the share price ranking within the given period. 
Things won't go as smoothly from here on out. The shareholders will be harsher, and you're more likely to be harassed by rival companies with, a, let's say, less favorable opinion of you. The amount of money you handle will increase, and the responsibilities will be greater knowing all that. You are still up for the okay. challenge. You have to ask. I live for fighting against the odds like that, climbing the way up from the bottom what I do best. Excellent. I knew you were the man of the job, Ichiro. In that case, I will deposit the money right away. Use it carefully. I do look forward to seeing you succeed. Jesus Christ. The next goal is top 50, huh? I'm sure it's going to be a whole lot tougher, but that won't stop me. I'm scared. Party management limit increased from 2 to 4. Employees count limit increased from 10 to 25. Yeah, we're going to need some booming businesses now. <laughs> Sir, a familiar name has appeared in the share price ranking. Really? And that name is Ichiban Confections. Ichiban Confections? Isn't that the cracker shop that was on its way out? I heard some novice girl inherited it, but I've never thought she'd bring it back to life like that. She's an impressive one, that's for sure. Yeah. No. Actually, that girl isn't the current uh -huh. president. What? And who is it? Ichiban Kasuga, a former Yakuza thug who was supposedly homeless until recently. You mean this idiot here is who's backing them? It's Nick Agata. Nick Agata? That bastard again? What should we do, sir? Isn't it obvious? We take immediate action like any good business should. Nakano Watery, as always, I'll be counting on you to handle this. Sir, leave it to me. I give everything I got. Just don't draw too much attention to yourself. I know, I know. All right, Mishimi, let's come up with a plan. Right. Are they gonna like burn? They're gonna torch my place or something? Are you sure about this? The guy is violent. He is stupid. <laughs> well, let's call it a trial run. Any company that gets crushed by more than like Icono Watery was doomed from the start. Ichiban Kasuga, I look forward to seeing how you fare. A bad Yelp review. <laughs> He's gonna cook my chicken. I'm scared. Omelet. <laughs> Do our best to reach our next goal. Seven business periods. Okay. Right on. Hmm. What's wrong, Iri-chan? Oh, it's nothing. She doesn't seem herself. Wonder what is bothering her. Hey, Iri-chan, if you're up for it, you want to go out for a drink? Oh, with you, Kasekan son? Yeah, we can celebrate getting into the top 100 while we're at. We've been so busy running the company, I didn't realize we haven't gotten to talk all that much, unless you're not up for that. Oh, no, of course I am. I've been wanting to spend more time with you, Kasekan son All right, then let's do it. We can go to this place called Survive. It's one of my favorite bars, and it's just up the street. You cool yes. with that? Sure. I'll have to get ready before I go. So let's meet at the bar. Okay, I'll see you there. And that's where I was trying to head anyway. We're trying to go to the Survive bar so I can bond with my teammates. I can now use the skill Stack Slap. I punch people with money? To my bar. Uh, uh well, how much are we? Well, dude, we almost have 400 grand. It's totally how you make money is by playing that game. <laughs> so, where's the movie theater games? This one? Which? No, not Shogi. Can Quest? No. PIA. I don't know what PIA is. Rob Blossom, Rose Blossom, and Carberry. Seagull. Here it is. Seagull Cinema. We gotta go there and play more of that game too. B. I guess today is like side quest day. <laughs> oh, I mean, we're at a store. We might as well check into it. Not a bad thing. <laughs> ah, this, this story was, doesn't have anything in there. <laughs> anything worth.
Dang it, I could have been doing this the whole time. I could have been like level like five bonding with my people. Hidachi san, either I need my eyes checked or you actually bought a drink from the bar. Hmm? Oh, it's uh, this just water. You giving your liver a rest? That's rare for you. Nah, it's only because I don't have the money for sake right now. Not even sneaking it in from the convenience store. Damn. Yeah. You're that broke, huh? I forgot to set aside something for this one big expenditure I have every month. It's stupid. What expenditure? You in debt or something? Nah, nothing like that. I, I've been sending Takashi money. Oh, isn't Takashi-kun the son of the guy who was arrested on false charges? Yeah, Kasumi. And he was arrested because I didn't believe Takashi's testimony. Yeah, but you also tried to get Kusumi released, right? Poor Nouchi's the one who shot it down. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose fault it is. Nothing will bring Kasumi back from the dead. And you don't know how shitty it got for Takashi. First his dad killed himself, then his mom passed away from grief. Poor kid ended up in an orphanage. Well, ever since then, I've been sending Takashi money every month. Under a fake name, of course. Why a fake name? Because Takashi wouldn't accept money from me. I'm one of the cops who locked up his old man. So I started sending money to him under the pseudonym Yamada. That's a hell of a good deed, Adachi-san. But wouldn't Takashi wonder why the heck some stranger named Yamada-san was sending money? <laughs> oh, I didn't overlook that. See, I played this Yamada-san character as a rich guy with a passion for philanthropy. And it worked. Takashi took the money without thinking twice about it. A passion for philanthropy, huh? Man, that's some real commitment. You're like Daddy Long Legs. Maybe we should get you a suit. Uh... Oh shit. I think I feel some tears coming on, man. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's up with you? I just... I never knew how hard you were trying to do the right thing. And you're still doing it, even after you lost your job. Knowing you'll never get credit. Still helping out Takashi-kun. Adachi-san. You're a man among men. <laughs> I, uh... I didn't mean to yank on your heartstrings so much. Seriously, man, doing that for 20 years is freaking amazing. I just figured it was the least I could do for the kid. You know? That's not how I would describe it. Especially now that you no longer have a job. Well, that's a good point. You know, isn't Takashi-kun all grown up by now? Uh, he's, uh, 25. Don't you think he should be able to stand on his own two feet at this point? Well, except now he's prepping for law school, so... Oh, yeah? He wants to be a lawyer? Yep. Another blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> nah, but maybe it won't corrupt him that much. I mean, he's a good kid. You know, he writes me a letter every month and thanks me for the money. Those letters are how I know he's trying to get into law school. Maybe he was inspired to do that because of what happened to his dad. Uh, I wondered the same thing. That's why I thought I'd keep helping him until he passes the bar exam. Well, the bar exam's supposed to be pretty tough, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been studying his ass off for the exam since college. Well, it hasn't been easy for him. He lives on wages from his part-time job and the money I send him. Doesn't go out or party, just studies sure hope he passes then <laughs> hopefully you'll manage to do it this year hopefully you'll be okay sending him money until then it's gonna be rough well to tell you the truth that's a big factor if he can't support himself soon i don't think my heart's gonna hold up under the stress of all my stupid money troubles no kidding now it all makes sense why you're broke no thanks hope you're uh, rooting for me at least yeah, of course I'm rooting for you. Good. Then what do you say to buying me a drink? Oh, <laughs> I walked right into that one. Come on, a clink of the glass would be music to my ears. Fine, fine. Not like I can say no after a story like that. Hey, bartender, can I get in an order? It's unlocked. Kasuke feels his bond with Adachi grows stronger. Adachi will now gain more experience when he is not in the active party. Adachi can now change to the breaker job. Hey, 
Ichiban. Wanna grab a drink with me? Sure. But do you really know how to knock him back, Sachan? Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on ya. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. <laughs> so, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? I remember someone like Castle that assisted living in the facility room with Siri Clan was taking care of the sister's old man, Nicholas High Fee. Nanoha worked as soap and hostess at Odomi Land yeah. so she could afford. At least things have simmered down among us recently. What's up? Thanks to you guys. Uh. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. You sure you want to hear it? I'm here to listen, Sachin. Well, it's not like you gotta entertain me. I'm all about boring stories. That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's from you, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next 10 hours, and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like Mom. It's probably why Mom trusted me more than Dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon, I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after Mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like... You made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name dropping. I know. There were a lot. That's probably why he hates me now. I, went too far, I never bonded honestly. with those. <laughs> but you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. 
She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. I feel like in video games, like making the script has got to be insanely like one of the longest parts of video game design. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. <sighs> I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Yep. One, three more Okay. Okay. Everyone's going through something. Again. Having a friend to talk to just what? makes it a little easier. Yeah, September. Okay. You know what I'm Fuck off, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Kasuka feels his bond with Psycho. Grows stronger. Psycho will now gain more experience when she is not in the active party. Alright, and now her. Oh, Chief. Hey, I keep you waiting? No, I actually just got here. So I see you brought a friend. You're smoother than you look. Come on, man. She's an employee of mine. They all think I'm you dating her. <laughs> Were you homeless just the other day? And now you're some corporate big shot? It's a long story. What else say for another time? Right now, we're here to celebrate. So how about you work us some magic? Huh. Fine, then. So, we made it to the top 100. I think that calls for a toast. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I wanted to start off with a thank you for all your support. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be president of anything. You're just being modest. If anything, I should be thanking you. I agree. If I weren't so naive, I wouldn't have had to drag you into this mess. But you, you're just what a company needs. You're decisive, dependable, a good judge of character? Life itself is better with you around, Kasuga-san. Speaking of character, let's talk about the guy who pulled one over on you. Who is this jerk-ass, anyway? He's the president of a very big firm here in Yokohama. Serious? And he just preyed on you out of nowhere? Yeah. I never thought a professional on his level would do that. You see, I just inherited my company and didn't have a clue how to run it. It was a time I really needed somebody to count on. Then suddenly I met this business tycoon who seemed really genuine. I ate up every word he said. And you paid the price for it. Yeah. <sighs> every time I think about it. I feel so stupid. Well, it's not like anyone can really blame you, right? I probably would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. Really? Yeah. And remember, the fault lies with the deceiver, not the deceived. You did what anyone would do. I know you're just trying to process things. Talking to all the you girls, have have depre they all have depressing stories. Kazuka-san. <laughs> you're right. Uh, 
I know it's pointless to punish myself over something in the past. Yep. And no matter what kind of company the shitbag runs, he's going down. Together we'll climb the ranks, make it to the top, and leave him begging for mercy. Yeah, we will. We'll even get big enough to completely buy him out. We'll take back all the businesses he stole, and start our own holdings company. I like the sound of that. And with that attitude, nothing's gonna stop us. So keep your chin up, yeah? Enjoy the ride. Right. <laughs> There's that airy chan smile. Honestly, I saw you looking kind of down, so I got a bit worried. Oh, was I acting strange? Sorry, it's just... Something on your mind? You know you can always talk to me. <clears throat> How should I explain this? I was just thinking about my dad. Oh, yeah? It's like... Um... Whenever I see you smile, I always think of my dad. You two are so alike. That's why I got so emotional all of a sudden. But I wasn't feeling down or anything. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Wait a sec, though. If I remind you of your dad, does that mean... He had a handsome face like mine. He had a big poofy hair like this. He had an amazing personality. Hmm. <laughs> I guess personality would be it. He had an amazing personality? <laughs> well, someone sure sounds confident. <laughs> but you're not wrong. In any case, I wasn't referring to your appearance. It's the way you carry yourself. You're funny, outgoing, always full of energy. You make everyone around you smile. My dad was just like that. He always made me feel safe and secure. To be honest, so do you. <laughs> Is that right? I wish I could have met the guy. She totally Sounds wants to like D. would have hit it off. Totally wants it. <laughs> I'd like to think so. All yeah. right. <laughs> for an awesome dad like yours, I'll put my heart and soul into making Ichiban Confections the best it can be. Now, there's no way I could ever replace your old man, but I can protect his legacy. Would you help me do that, Eri-chan? I don't think I can do it alone. Oh, you won't have to. I'll help you every step of the way. Please. But I know you've got so much on your plate already. You're sure you'll be okay? Oh, well, I know this won't be a walk in the park, but I have good people on my side. Good people? Yeah, a group I trust with my life. Can't get much done without them. So I'm sure it'll all work out. Call it a gut feeling. <laughs> Bet they'll give me tons of shit for overdoing it, though. <laughs> it sounds like you're all close. Hey, you okay there? Kasuga-san, could I ask you a favor? Uh, yeah, what's up? Do you think I could ever be part of your inner circle? Huh? Look, you've been doing so much for me since the day we met. But I feel like all I ever do is watch from the sidelines. That's not really fair, is it? So I was thinking I could play a more active role in your daily affairs. That way you could focus more on management without feeling bogged down by all your other stuff. That's a win for you and our company, right? I can't think of a reason for me not to join. I don't know. We all walk a pretty tough road. Shit gets out of hand non-stop. You don't want to risk getting hurt, do you? I'm fully aware of the risk. And trust me, I won't be a burden on that front. Okay, but... Harry-chan, as much as I like the idea, I just don't see it happening. Please, let me be the one doing you the favor. Besides, if you say no, I'll just tag along without your approval. <laughs> Guess that doesn't leave me much choice. Don't expect any hand-holding, though. <laughs> Fine by me. 
Okay. I'd say that's worthy of a toast. Welcome to the party, Eri Chan. Cheers. Did I get a fourth party member again? Did I got another fighter? Yeah, and by the way, Eri Chan will be tagging along from this point on. I'm Eri. I'm excited to get to know everyone. Are you sure about this? Knowing us will probably bring you nothing but trouble. Yeah, we're always in one mess or another. Doesn't help that we got these two drunks either. <laughs> Look who's talking. You don't have to worry about me. I just want to repay you for all the kindness you've shown me. And I'm ready for just about anything. Just about, huh? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Good to have you. Welcome to the gang, Eri Chan. Thank you for having me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Does that mean, like, she could have helped me with the fucking boss fights on trying to get non bond back? Uh, is this what I was missing? Pesca feels his bond with Eerie grows stronger. She will now get more experience. Like the rest of your party members, Eerie's bond level only increases as you grow your business. Increasing her bond as many benefits, such as giving her access to new jobs and skills. Keep your business skills sharp to deepen your bond with Eerie. So she only likes me because of my money. Eerie's sweet and caring disposition has given her a natural aversion to sleep and rage. Nevertheless, she seems more prone to being stunned. <laughs> oh. Oh, at least she's level 25. She's the highest level in the party. Box cutter. She needs a new weapon desperately. Nine damage. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still not that good because I think we're. Where are our weapons at? Our weapons are at like 100 ish. You get you get non bonds leftovers. She needs a job. She is she has a job. And it is five. Clerk. She can also be an idol or a dealer. I think I have metal cards I can give her too if she, if I make her a dealer. Which is your sharp play? All right. What skills does she have? Healing vibrations. HP by enjoying a soothing massage. Hmm. All right, what do we do next? Do I keep managing or do I go to the movie theater? I think I want to go to the movie theater. Is there a taxi thing here? Close I can get is here. Alright. 
We could change your job, maybe. Hello, hello work. Do the purple. You're doing great. Keep them the same. See, the thing I wish was different about this game that they do in uh, in the other games, like other job games, is that you keep skills from this from the classes you played with before. So it made you, it made you worth job switching because you would get a whole bunch of skills to work with. But this one, it seems like. It just replaces all your skills with the, with the class that you just play as. So like, doesn't really. You kind of just want to find like a good balance between the party members instead of just having them learn a whole bunch of stuff. Lose like a hundred attack. <laughs> oh no, that's health. Lose a hundred health playing those other ones. No, but I mean like in Dragon Quest. Uh, I think it was nine had job changes, and seven, Dragon Warrior seven, had job changes. So like, bodyguard, how I got the like skewer attack I would at that attack would carry on after you learned it it would carry on to your other classes but I think the problem with this is that each class in this game uses like different weapons and I think it's that what skills are weapon based I know I lose 100 health because bodyguard I think is a tank class I think that's why he loses 100 health I feel like that's why Ichiban doesn't really do that much damage. I think he's supposed to take the damage. The problem is with me though, like my taunts don't work on bosses. So I'm not even taking damage. My fucking other teammates die before I even get targeted. Because I haven't successfully taunted a boss yet. Do your best out there. Right, and I think I have weapon for this class for her. I do not. Where did we see the metal playing cards at? Because we desperately need that. <laughs> Thirteen damage isn't gonna be isn't gonna suffice here. Uh. 
you know how many weapon stores are? There's one here, there's one here, there's one here. Well, this is the... This is the factory. I guess we could try here. Oh, this is the pawn- that's the pawn shop. That's where I go to sell. Let's go love magic. I also could buy a better sword. We- we now have money to buy a sword. I'm finding a lot of the clan crusts, but I still haven't figured out where to turn those in. Oh, this is my store. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe cards are here. Nope. No weapons here for the hard class. Okay, go maybe up here. Well, this puts me put us right next to our movie theater. Actually, I passed the movie theater. Tiny metals everywhere. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, these actually matter now. What's up? I can't seem to remember the title of this movie I saw a few years back. It was one of those real emotional rides, and I remember wanting to see it again. It was a, a boy meets girl movie. Your, uh, was it my... My pancreas wants to scream. Something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Does the hero have a stomach ache or something? Maybe it was about a guy who wanted to quit drinking. Nah, it was all about being young. What a nice time that is. Well, I'll let you know if I ever spot it. Oh, was it, yo, my stomach's gonna blow? Maybe? It's not about a stomach ache. I don't think he's gonna remember. <laughs> so I wonder if, uh... Wow, these guys came out quick. I wonder if, like, she, if the girl is going to be, like, in the story now, like, story missions. Oh, shit. She goes first. Her weapon sucks. <laughs> That's horrible. Everybody, you sure you can beat me? You're going to be in a world of pain. Oh, come on. Wow, that did like all our health. Oh, she's going to die. <laughs> this is not good. What the fuck did I just use? I'm getting stronger. Uh, 
I don't know, man. You do damage. Are you talking about my character, Ichiban? I'm supposed to be tanky, but no, I got good. We I got good weapons. Depends on the card's number. Fuck. <laughs> Kicks. Stack slap. Oh, this is stack slap. When the enemy just won't learn the lesson, you need to slap harder, and that requires a fatter stack of cash. This, is, this doesn't use money, does it? I do smack people with money. Awesome. <laughs> Seems like doing the management minigame is really paying off. Alright, try this again. Let's not get a two. Fuck! Two twos on the top of the deck? She was really gonna lose the game of war if she played with that deck. That's bad. Yeah, I I had a feeling. You're gonna get Come on. ready now. Cool. Here are the cards. Oh my god, they're expensive. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I didn't know. She needs him so bad. I think the dealer was a mistake. I think I gotta switch her back. I have nothing- I have no weapons for her. My sword's- this sword's not even much better. I don't even think I should buy that. I need a- I need a hundred damage sword somewhere. All right, back to the movie theater. Why does it matter who we watch it with? Oh, give me one sec. I'm going in these rooms. There's nothing in here. Why would I want to come in here? At least that was the use of the space. 
I'm no use to that space. Is there a safe in here? There's gotta be something. Just use the space. Out of my way. There's a gold save. I can mark down the map. I need a damn key. <laughs> Who should I watch a movie with? Let me get a drink too. My girlfriend, <laughs> Erie. Eri Chan-san. Eri Chan might like this one. All right, I'll trade her today. She's a sweetheart. Uh, office alone. A heartwarming comedy about an overworked employee and a cunning corporate spy. Hilarity, hilarity and hijinks ensue in this classic cat and mouse game. Okay. Man, everyone's out at the hot springs for the company Christmas party. And here I am sitting at my desk because I didn't hit my quota. Huh? What's that sound? I should be the only one here. Wait, don't tell me. It's a corporate spy? So this guy gets left behind and he's forced to battle a corporate spy? wonder if that'll be enough to keep me awake. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Rapid. I almost nodded off there. And fall asleep for once. Take that. Land cable trap. Shoot. He dodged. Then how about this? Water heater heat seeker. He's fighting the dude with stuff from around the office. Almost feels like a cartoon. Shit. Movies make me so sleepy.
rush mode. That was awesome. I can see this game getting intense. I hope it does. Oh, it's just getting good. All right. I caught the corporate spy. I knew I could do it. Wait. Tell my co-workers here about this. Oh, chief. I did it. I saved the company from the corporate spy. What? You're cutting my pay. Damage the company property. No. All that work for nothing. Well, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. That was awesome. Noise. All right. Who gets to see the next movie? interesting say so that movie was pretty ahead of its time totally glad you enjoyed it but you know there's a bunch more to see let's check out another one thanks for taking me yes looking forward to it thank you for paying for me god we had a good time we should do this again oh i get bombed from this oh right. all right who gets the next movie I just do her again. Sultry adultery, the key to love. When a lonely female professor lets her spare key slip into a stranger's hands, you won't want to miss the climax. I have a secret that I'm forbidden to tell. I'm a wife and a teacher. Two duties that require extreme dedication. But I'm also a fickle woman drenched in carnal desires. It seems he put the skeleton key. I gave him the good use. I wonder how today's lessons will go. <laughs> Story about an adulterous teacher. Steamy. Too bad this place makes me so damn sleepy. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. I hope so. Also, a two star or two sheep. <laughs> Fall asleep for once. 
I'm scared of the roosters appearing with sheep like in the middle of it. Like that's probably gonna be my worst. <laughs> Today's lesson is a classical <laughs> literature. What would you call this part of my body in the old tongue? Can you answer for me? Next is world history. The build up's taking forever. It's just like one long sexy school day. It's sleepy all of a sudden. Every chance by like, what the fuck is she watching? That was awesome. Wasn't a perfect. Damn. Like that. I hit the rooster. Oh, it's just getting good. It's over. Yes. Oh, yes. Use my pointer and show me where I like it. What? Eerie, Jane, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can no longer escape from this sweet, fiery pleasure. Now, who else will I be instructing today? <laughs> the whole thing was a little too over the top and forced right up to the end. Still, I can't help but feel weirdly sexy after that. That was awesome. No, my ass. Because of one rooster. That was interesting. <laughs> totally. Thanks for taking me. Ah, she says the same thing. All right, Eric Chan. Next movie. <laughs> Jaws. Sharkification. When a group of immature college students take a dip in the shark-infested waters, the blood will spill. The shark looks pretty fake, though. Yahoo, blue skies, white sand, and a gray dorsal fin. Wait, that's a shark. Oh, well, I think we'll be okay, right? Hiromi? Oh, shit. Hiromi's being eaten. A bunch of dumbass college kids versus a big shark, right? I guess we'll see if it keeps me awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Fuck, dude. I have just fucking reactions and smack everything. Yeah, 
I gotta sleep more. Yeah, he does. He gets movie comas. I only like, I only fall asleep to a movie Oof, made it through. if I've already seen the movie. Like if I if it's the first time me watching a movie, I usually don't fall asleep watching movies. Shit, Takashi and Yuko were eating too. Time to make use of all this clubbing, all that clubbing, and dance the fuck out of here. This guy is nuts if he thinks he's just gonna dance past that shark. Sheesh, this isn't even scary. It's sleepy boring. all of a sudden. <laughs> fuck are these movies? That was awesome. Or A. Oh, it's just getting good. Phew, that was a close one. I think my summer vacation turned into such a bloody disaster. Wait a sec. What's that coming towards me? I know that Finn. Yeah. Huh? Where the hell did that come from? Did they really want to kill off the main character that badly? That was awesome. Hi, I got an S. Even though I hit a rooster. Well, that was kind of. Well, that was. Oh, she said the movie sucks. Educational. So I think it was a learning experience. It was good to try something different every once in a while. Next time we'll catch you eventually. Okay, okay thank you. Guess the movie was no good. I'll be sure to pick something else next time. <laughs> so people do prefer certain movies. She actually likes the sexy teacher adult movie. <laughs> Lord of what? Lord of the Wedding Rings. <laughs> Matrimony of the Ring. A masterpiece about a journey in search of a powerful wedding rings. This is supposed to be part of the series, but the sequel has yet to be announced. <laughs> Lord of the Wedding Rings. Pretty funny. There's a lot of movies. One, two, three, four, five left. This one has a sheep on the cover of it. What is your... I'm going to present her with the finest ring in all the land and make that dream a reality. I will travel both far and wide. But before that, I'll need to arm myself with the best equipment and most trustworthy friends I could find. This is Kasuga's movie for sure. So he's going on a journey to craft a wedding ring, huh? That's cool. But damn, movie theaters make me sleepy as hell. I'm sleepy all of a sudden.
Cruiser. I almost nodded off there. Whew, made it through. I can feel an immense power willing up within my sword with this enchanted blade. I'll slice off a scale from that evil dragon and be one step closer to my beloved ring. The cinematography is great, but this story sucks. None of it's getting through to me. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. First time they put a third rooster. That was awesome. Oh, it's just getting good. A taste of my ultimate technique. Super Saiyan. All right, that takes care of the dragon. Onward to my next material. Again, the cinematography is amazing. Solid CGI too. But nothing's gonna save it from this crappy story or this crappy dialogue. That was awesome. Did you read it? That was so good. It says alarm cocks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That was really interesting. Hmm, true love like that must Leave be nice. Good stuff. Glad you enjoyed it. And that part with the hero fights for the ring, I didn't think an old movie like or could make me care so much. The fight scene with the lover, right? The fight scene with the father, right? The fight scene with the dragon, right? Yes, putting your life on the line for the one you love. I know it's cliche, but I can dream. Yeah, but it's cliche stuff like that that makes old movies so touching. Wow, Kaskas, -Kas I didn't know you were you such a movie. You look so into it. Thank you for today. Yeah. Don't mention it. Either way, I wonder why such a good movie never got a sequel. It's really too bad. Hey, she really enjoyed it. I think I understand Eerie Chan a little bit better now. I get bonding points? No. Our Winter Sonata. Starring Il Yun Jin. Hey, it's that guy. The, the guy, the actor who fucking was like an alcoholic that we were... Who needs water, actually? It's still at the park. We never got on water. This classic love story will have you both laughing and crying on the edge of your seat, ladies. Do yourself a favor and take your partner to see this. Is this the movie 300? We gotta get to the next movie. The Rugged 40. Oh, never mind. 538 Rules of Romance. 
Izik, Izaki, Ijinko, A History. Life of Sheep. I want to get these two movies. Oh, where could she be? The girl from my youth. My heart was stolen by her the moment we met. I want to be with her, even if it's just for a moment. I want to hear her voice. That's all I ask. So he's looking for the girl he had the hots for back then, huh? All right. We'll see if I can stay awake for this one. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. already why do movies gotta be so comfy Fall asleep for once. Yes, at first, I thought you simply resembled my sister's long lost love, a man with whom I shared a little to no anomalous, anomalous, eh, I can't say it, animosity. But to my surprise, you were in fact that very man. Yo, what the hell is this girl talking about? Who's who again? Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Was awesome. I missed one cock. Oh, it's just getting good. <laughs> Finally, remember. I remembered the love I have for you. The love that would melt away this dreadful winter. Yes, you are. You are my forever. I'm never losing you again. So the heroine had a twin, and then there was a love triangle. Something with the parents, something about revenge. How does anyone keep up with all this shit? That was awesome!
Our stats are going up. Easy peasy. That was interesting. Totally. Thanks for taking me. She didn't, she didn't have much to say about that movie. All right, three more films, I think. We are the 48 Samurai. We owe our lives to this village. Let us band together and protect it from the fiendish bandits who prey upon its provisions and riches. Ichiro, we'll be especially counting on you. Jiro, you'll be our strategist. Sapura, show us that fear katana of yours. An action movie about samurai protecting a village, huh? All right, well, this theater's super comfy right now, so we'll see. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Are you good at these kinds of mini games, Vinny? Sleep for once. <laughs> Need you, Nero. Damn it! Stay awake. Depends. San Goro. Hurry up with the first aid. Shiji Shigoro. Behind you. Watch your back. It's all in black and white, so I can't tell any of these guys apart. What the hell is going on? I'm sleepy all of a sudden. 7030. <laughs> the problem I have with this game is that it makes me mash with my left hand, and it's weird. My, my left hand does not mash. awesome it needs to <laughs> uh, there's no game that makes me mash arrows <laughs> like no game makes me mash d-pad ever just like made first it to one the of first the sacrifices from this battle numbered far too many Jiro Goro Juhachiro, Miju Subaru, Sanju Goro, Sanju Shiro, 
Jiju Hakshiro. We shall live here in this village where so many lives were lost. May we bring honor to your departed souls. Well, the ending was pretty good, but everything else was confusing with, with all different characters. That was awesome! interesting totally thanks for taking me three more movies A once in a lifetime shot at true love. Anybody can be like me if they follow these 538 simple rules. Rule number one always be cute, conscious. Next, rule number two selfies at a 45 degree angle are a must. Rule number three don't pig out when you're eating. Rule four talk to your crush morning, noon, and night. Girl who's in love with love, huh? That's different. Still, this theater sure is making me sleepy. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. I think we just found out your problem, Vinny. You're not taking selfies at 45 degree angles. <laughs> I saw the schedule before I left. <laughs> Dang it, one got me. I almost nodded off there. I mashed the wrong button. <laughs> Fall asleep for once. Rule 64 Chase the Cinderella story. Find someone wealthy. <laughs> of course, that's a rule. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Instant rush mode. That was awesome! 
I always hit one chicken. Always. <laughs> It's just getting good. Rule 538. Know that no one can love you more than you. I love everything about myself. I love that. I love love and I love that this is my job. Now it's your turn. All those rules just to end on that. Oh well. Who can you love if not yourself? That was awesome. Weird movie. interesting totally thanks for taking me Join us now as we journey into the past and take a look at the fascinating history of this town. Aizazaki has always been somewhat of a cultural crossroads, even when Japan had closed itself off to the rest of the world. Aizazaki was the proud... I don't know say that. Documentary on the history of Ichiko. Okay. Guess we'll see if I can stay awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Whew, made it through. Hamakita Park to the northeast is a favorite place of both recreation and relaxation. During the holidays, the park comes alive as performers gather from all over town to celebrate. This is so dry, I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm sleepy perfect, all of a sudden. Perfect time to sleep.
That was awesome. All right, final movie. The boss. Oh, it's just getting good. And that's the story of how the Aizaki Ichigo we know today became to be. We hope you grant gain a newfound love and appreciation of blah 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 blah. Today we looked back on the inspiring story of Izaki Ichigo. However, the story is far from over and we're certain it will continue to be written for many years to come. It's finally over. Damn. That was like homework. I can't believe I paid money for that. True. That was awesome. That was interesting. Totally. Thanks for taking me. All right, boss sheep. He was born with the unusual sheep-like visage. As such, he was called William. This film is part of a case study that has covered a significant portion of his life, one which continues to this day. A documentary about a sheep man. Sheep. Sleep. Shit. <laughs> I'm sleepy all of a sudden. first half Whew, made it through William enjoys frequent visits to the ranch near his home he says watching the sheepdog play with the sheep makes him feel all warm and wooly inside Sheesh, the same thing over and over again. How much longer is this? Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Wow, you lost. I don't even know what happened. You seem kind of tired. Maybe next time. I'm 
get sleepy all of a sudden. I almost nodded off there. Made it through. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Hit the wrong button last time, that's why. That was awesome. There we go. I met instead of mashing X, I think I mashed square the first time and I just destroyed myself. Made it to the end. William, now in the twilight of his years, spends most of his time in bed. He says he is not afraid to die and that he is grateful to have lived in a peaceful life without regret. Here, William enjoys his final moments. Surrounded by his loving wife and children, he quietly passes away with a simple goodbye. The hell? That dude's life was more normal than mine. I seriously watched two and a half hours of this. That was awesome. Sheep, sleep, sheep slapper. interesting totally. thanks for taking me we beat it we beat the movie game next maybe this store has some cards or something i think i already checked here didn't i did i just check here this was the metal 700,000 card one right uh, where's the next weapon store? Like way over here. Let's 
All right, we need to head back to here. No. Dang it. I spotted my teammates. All right. Don't get a two. Oh. Joker. That did a lot of damage. Joker's good. Pot chip. Uh, we can go in here for a second, too. Did I say? Well, I think I already ate everything here, haven't I? This is the expensive place. That's a rip off, hundred thousand for that. Man, Arigato. where is cards at? Guest store was junk over here. There's like no store with uh, the card weapons. I gotta change her class into supply something else. I, I just, she's not going to do any damage. <laughs> Don't 
don't be unrealistic? What do you mean, don't be unrealistic? You'll find a good card? Well, I can switch it back when I find a good card. She literally does like 15 damage. That is not. That is not. Uh. Doesn't qualify. She's already an idol, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna make her back to clerk. I'll be rooting for you. How many did I have? One, two, three. I mean, this weapon isn't much better. I saw- I wasn't paying attention if the other shops had anything better. Let's go back to this shop. This shop had the most expensive stuff. An office box cutter. Apparently, this one's better. Oh, here's my sword. Hey, she kept the move. Jackpot chip. There you go. Sword. The sword's pretty cool. He stole my item and ran. What a jerk. Dude, she's cool. She does flips and shit.
Alright, we spent a lot of money. We gotta go make more money again. You're salty? You could be salty. I'm happy. She does damage. What? That's so far away. Spouse across the street. Find cards, we'll switch her back. But for now, she does damage now. She actually contributes. Alright, back to business. Alright, we got 50 million to work with. Seven. We have seven periods to do this. Training lecture, visiting. Training lecture is still going on, so this is our time to do it. Well, let's get our properties first. Oh, shit. I think the stage theater is a good investment. Fairy tale pink rabbit. Charming fairy tale themed brothel. Supported by its fans, the hostess there, however, don't always ensure a happy ending. Doesn't always ensure a happy ending. Damn. Mr. Brillio. Um. Sushi place seems pretty good. Um, bookstore, it's pretty good. I think I like this place, the stage theater, and the bookstore. Okay, now we need employees. Recruiting. Get my guy back. Get him. I'm gonna need... These guys are terrible. For the sharehold meeting, I do kind of need, like, one of these guys. Um... Okay, let's take you back. Um. Check this guy. Get this chick. I think I need one more employee.
Yep, that should work. Alright, properties, this guy. No, we're not selling. Right, I'm assigning. Okay. Who's got the most stats out of the people I can hire? Oh, can I reuse some of the people? I can just reuse people. Oh, okay. No, you can't. So they can only be assigned to two buildings. What'd you come back to? Uh, we got two new properties and we hired a whole bunch of people. So now we need a guy with a heart. Who's got the most heart? Oh no. Give me this guy. No. Alright, give him back. And then yellow. Not assigned to a building. One, two, three. Okay. Now we go for the upgrades. Let's upgrade our people first. Employees. Alright, these guys... Everyone's level 10 ish. Good. Everyone happy? Everyone's happy. Nah, they're they're not working two places. I thought that's what the number means what property they're on. So he's on he's on the second property. 
he's on the third one. And these guys are on the fourth one. Then they can work one place. I thought for a second that you could work multiple, but... Alright, now we can upgrade our businesses, starting with the theater here. upgrade again. Can upgrade one more time. I don't have the uh, my people are not good enough. Okay. This is getting expensive. That's max? That's not good. It means I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get the people. I need, my guys need to upgrade further. This is maxed out. I might have to sell this property and buy a better one. Cause I don't think it's gonna get much better than that. Let's sell. Market or properties. Yeah, I think we sell this for four mil. And buy a better place. Mm, that place needs high ass gifting. Oh, I can buy my restaurant back for six mil. I gotta buy the store. Uh, never mind. The store has low profits. Not a lot of good choices. Mm, I think I'm interested in this place the most. close 
Mm, I don't know if upgrading the employees is the way to go now. Twenty-four million investment in women's in apparel. I uh, I use all our money. We can't do investments right now. <laughs> Omelet, you dog. Famous luck for Mr. Holly's training. Senior has ended. Oh, no more training. It's commercial time slot available for this period. A well thought commercial could provide a huge boost for sales. Yeah, let's do the commercial. Oops. No, I skipped the commercial. We're in cars now. Still make it rain. Here's how the business did. Damn, we made almost 10 mil. Nice, you guys did great out there. Things are going up. That's what I'm talking Our about. Went up. We're 99. Hot topic, deep dive. We dig deep so you don't have to. Has like an all night life establishment. They're currently holding a zero service charge promotion. Sales from these businesses are forecasted to go up. We can expect some profit this period. Has like we are able to invite a re-owned instructor for the employee development seminar. Our employees are expected to develop significantly as a result of this event. Uh, as in the case, we are contracted that the employment agency the air some candidates is looking for work. I do want him. He looks pretty good. Get him. Is there another rare? Oh, there's a couple of rares in here now. Hmm. I like this guy. Another money maker, though. Employees. All right, who's my worst people? Let's see. I got this guy now and this guy, and they're already better than. Okay, I think these two gotta go. Sorry, dude, you're terminated. 
In this game. But now I'm getting rid of I'm trading people out. Because these guys are just better. So now we promote this guy twice. Give this guy some training. This guy too. Around twice. And then I gotta assign them to the properties that are missing people now. Okay, they were both they were both working here. I actually wanna move this guy out for here. He's got my heart. You got my heart. Oh, I got that. There we go. I might be able to upgrade that place again, though. Oh, this one's fully upgraded, actually. Ah, oh, they're so close. There's a few more upgrades. This place can be maxed out. I need more red before I can upgrade that place any further. Um, here, I need to upgrade these two. We could do that. Oh, we're maxed out on the sales. So this isn't going to make any more money. Most of my shit is one away from max. Oh, this one can go a lot. My problem is notability. I need to find some people with some high ass notability to work here. We still have the ad. That's good. Let's make we some money. To do. Oh shit, some of them are not happy. Still make it rain. Thirteen thousand. These are incredible nice. results. Great out there. They're going up. That's what I'm talking about. Our ranking about. went up. Nightlife is no longer trending. President Kaska, there's a proposal for an investment opportunity. Let's see what it's about. I can't pay for it anyway. The deposit amount needed to recruit employees has decreased. Oh, too late. I already. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. One more day and then shareholder meeting? Yeah. Alright, employees need to be happy. Ah, 
ついてないぞ。イジバンコンベクションズ、ジスメクソー。Famous lecturer Mr. Holly's training seminar has ended. Commercial broadcasting period has ended. Aww.、Uh, this guy is garbage. Decline. <laughs> The shareholders meeting is about to begin. All right. Everyone happy? No, you guys are pretty happy. Oh, I gave her training. <sighs> That is refreshing. Man, eventually, I think I'm gonna end up firing these guys. And these are like the people who started the company. I feel bad. <laughs> I don't want to fire people who originated in the company. Who <laughs> Their stats is not as good as these rares. Alright, sharehold meeting. We got money, money, and building. I mean, that's what our characters are, so. Change for. Who we got now? We have a lot of people now.、Oh, that guy's a 13. See, I don't think. I don't know if higher is always better. I say Granny out. We'll take、we'll、this guy in. He's an eight. I can get an eleven building. So my weak guys, my weaker guys are better at shareholding, talking. So that's their like trade, I guess. I think this is a solid team. Let's go with this team. Consider the shareholders handled. We'll start with the financial report. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the QA. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Sit the fuck down, woman. The kid is the most persuasive. But I gotta break his barrier like fast. Dude, the kid is a, is a persuasive machine.
<laughs> That's what I'm talking Our about. Our ranking went up. Ooh. Imagine firing the chicken. I know. <laughs> Good thing Eerie Chan doesn't work. Can you imagine firing her? <laughs> Contract deposit discount going. Okay. Uh, recruit. Nah. Well, maybe. The only thing is, nightlife isn't trending anymore. So I don't know if I want a nightlife guy. her or fire her she's like to like promote or fire oh she's actually worse and these two are pretty bad these two are the next to go for sure um all right recruit this guy i guess So who's worse, the chick or the dude? They're both working the same building, so... Mm. Oh, where's the guy I just got this guy? Let's get him some training. Present heart. Mm. I think the girl makes it. I think this guy's fire. Sorry, dude. upgrade that now. Uh, I need a heart. Mm, I need everything. I have no way to get notability though. Doing it, of upgrading this even does anything, I remember, but fuck it. Nah, I'll just waste some money. Oh well. Oh, we're so close. I could probably upgrade this if I upgrade my guys. Who's working there? Upgrade. Need to upgrade either the old lady or the man there. Employees. You can do it now, sick. 
So this is maxed out. You need to upgrade heart. Just upgrade. We'll just upgrade the leader here, the bandit guy, and we'd be good with there too. This guy here. Was that enough? It's not enough still. All right, he's getting promoted, I guess. maxed out <clears throat> I'm gonna find someone with huge notability for this it's the only way all right I think we're ready for business we got a job to do Discount on outsourcing HR consoles ended. Okay, we're good. We got a job to do. Nick was right. Fifty grand is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> or fifty mil, I mean. We are able to invite our renowned instructor for the employee development seminar. Our employees are expected to develop nice. Training is on bonus. Bonus training right now. We might as well max out our employees. I get bonus. There we go. Oh, he didn't make it. Not sure about her yet. She's probably getting replaced real soon. Oh, I'm freaking to promote her. 
Got a job to do. Let's make that Still make it rain. Here's how the business did. These nice. are incredible great results. Great out there. Those are going up. Mm -mm 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 the shareholders meeting is coming up soon. Going good. Uh, how are we looking here? This is max, max, max. This is the only one we're working on right now. I'm just gonna upgrade twice, and I still can't do it by a long shot. It's my most notable. The chicken. Or right, move. Reinsiding everybody. Alright, this place needs is the hardest one. I need I need a really The chicken. No, can't use the chicken there. I need someone with like good overall stats with good notability. The bandit is probably still one of the better ones. Mm, no, I, actually I do need the higher guy. I need a chicken here. The chicken needs to manage. <laughs> Heart, enough heart. I'll give it my best. And enough present. I'm under, but I still might. I might be able to fix that. What's the next highest standard one? This one. I wish I could sort people that aren't working yet. <laughs> Kids better. Kids better. Kids better.
お任せくださいおお任せとけいいわよわかったわ Ooh, I don't have enough heart with this one. I need to find someone with better heart. Maybe. Maybe I use her instead. Oh, so close. I'll give it my best. I don't even need that. I don't even need someone working there, I guess. Look, I need the kid or him. Fuck, it's tough. <laughs> I need no more heart. I can use her. She's working in building three right now for. I'm gonna try this. I'm still down heart here. Fuck. Wrestling is live crowds again. I didn't know they stopped. I need more people with heart. Two standards here. The bookstore, I could just buy this, right? Oh, shaking up right again. I need heart. And I can't upgrade anymore. Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna upgrade the kid. He deserves a promotion. He's he's good. Wait, who's not working?
Um, place kid promote. Give me enough heart, kid. You gotta do it. Fuck. He still doesn't have enough. Can't promote him again. Who's working with him? This guy is. Give me enough, please. Yes, we're good. That guy is solid. We got a job to do. We're broke. <laughs> Boys are about to get pissed after this one, probably. Are people stealing? Is they theft? Let's go. Almost like. These are incredible results. Is wrestling a seasonal sport? That shit just goes all year long, don't it? Nice. You guys did great out there. Are going up. Let's keep it up. I only made six mil because of my employees aren't costing a lot of money now. I actually went down like three mil profits because I I'm paying my employees too much. That's all right though. Recruit that man. Get rid of the woman. She's fired. You suck, lady. I'm sorry. Peace out. She's not even need she wasn't even needed. She did literally nothing. Two old grannies and a chicken started this place. They're still in here. I didn't fire them. They still provide great stats. The chicken provides the most metal out of everything. The most notability, which I need that. And then her. Her heart is the in her is her gift, I guess. She this one's on the on the edge here. She's probably the first one to get fire and then her. Chicken will be last. Uh I gotta make them happy. This isn't gonna go well. I hope I have enough money to make them happy. Oops. Oh, 
だが明るくなったわいやー力が取れたな元気が出ました疲れが取れた気がしますリフレッシュ完了です元気100倍だ We're down on profits this this period, but it's okay. Oh, we have four people we gotta defeat this time. Um, it's red, red, blue, green. I need a red guy. Take you out and get this guy. Red, red, blue, green. It was. I need another red guy. That's pretty good. Consider the shareholders handled. The chicken does make me millions just by being a chicken. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Uh, this guy is blue. Dude, the kid is disgusting. Please raise your hand if you have a question. No. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask. You do not want to target the kid, dude. You're gonna lose. <laughs> Don't target the kid. Well, everybody, this calls for a sell-up meeting was great. Things are skyrocketing. Let's keep it up. Our ranking went up. I need to find more people like the kid. 